Hi lovely people! I am getting an increasing amount of questions about fuel crowns or just my favorite shoes in general and what they are. And while I have two other shoe reviews on this channel, for some reason I've never actually sat down and done a review on fuel crowns. Which makes absolutely no sense because those are the shoes that I tend to wear the most, like on pretty much a daily basis and have done so for years. So today we are taking a look at field grants. Before we are getting into this video, I just want to give you a full disclosure. I was sent two of the pairs of shoes that I am going to be sharing with you today. However, throughout the years I have bought so many of their shoes with my own money. And Field Grounds also does not know that I'm even making this video. <laughs> so definitely not a sponsored video or anything like that. I just genuinely want to share a brand with you that I really enjoy and I think you might enjoy as well. So all of the opinions that I'm going to be sharing with you in this video are 100% my own. And my dog is snoring. <laughs> And with that out of the way, let's take a look at Feel Grounds. So I thought we'd just start just with a quick look at the brand Feel Grounds, like as a brand. Because Feel Grounds is a relatively new brand. They started in 2019 with a crowdfunding campaign that was actually completely 100% funded in just 48 hours, which is so fast. <laughs> Their first model was the original in mesh, which we will talk about a little bit later in this video. And Feel Ground's mission is to make barefoot shoes available and more appealing to more people, to the wider public. With their slogan, let's make barefoot shoes cool. Something that I really appreciate about the brand is how open they are towards their customers. They are also using mostly recycled materials like where they can for their shoes. For example, the knit uh, material was currently wearing them. <laughs> So that's a recycled material. Also, all of their shoes are completely vegan. They do also do leather alternatives, but like I said, alternatives, they are not real leather. Which, as a vegetarian, I very much appreciate because that way I don't constantly have to check with them if the specific model that I'm interested in is actually something that I'm willing to buy. <laughs> Fieldgrounds is part of different initiatives that work to ensure good labor circumstances for their workers. And if you want to read more on this, I will make sure to leave a link to the part of their website that talks about that. <laughs> so you can dive a little bit deeper yourself. Also, for those interested, I actually did an interview all the way back in 2020 with Field Grounds when they were just about a year old <laughs> and when they actually only had two different models out on their website. So yes, I've been supporting them that long. I've been supporting them since their first year, which is pretty cool actually thinking about it. <laughs> Anyway, if you would like to read the blog post, I'll make sure to link it for you in the description box so you can take a look at that and basically see how much they've grown and which goals they actually reached. Alright, so that's it about the brand for now. Let's quickly talk about what barefoot shoes actually are because I know not all of you know what those are. <laughs> barefoot shoes are basically shoes that allow your foot to move as naturally as possible. They are known for their wide toe box, which allows your toes to spread nicely. They also have a flexible sole, which means that your foot can move without restrictions and which will also allow you to actually feel the surface that you are walking on, which with a lot of more modern shoes you're barely able to do. And that basically means that your foot can actually function the way it was designed to function. While walking or running, you're constantly working the muscles in your foot to do what they are meant to do. <laughs> so working the muscles in our feet with every step we take and having full range of motion within our feet, which is actually really important for our foot health in the long run. So for a lot of people, me included, this means healthier feet in the long run. And I absolutely think that for me wearing barefoot shoes is for a big part the reason that I am now struggling with like knee and hip discomfort so 
so much less than what I used to do, which is something that's been a problem for me for a very, very long time. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the shoes. <laughs> I have four pairs of shoes that I actually like have right here that I'm able to show you. I have also had different models from them in the past, so I'll see if I can find like pictures or video clips to share those as well. And if I can, I will just share them like from their website and just tell you my experience with them basically. Let's start with the first model that I ever brought out, which is the Field Grounds Original. This is a model that I do not have here to show you right now, but it is a model that I've worn for years and I actually just decluttered my two last pairs of those because they were so worn out. And thinking back, I should have just kept them for a little bit so I could at least show them to you. On the other hand, I'm not sure I would have been willing to show such worn out, pretty disgusting looking shoes to you. So maybe this is for the best after all. <laughs> so the original, like I said, was their first model. They first brought it out in mesh, which is a shoe that I have had actually the exact same shoe. I've had, I think twice, maybe three times? No, I think it was twice. It was the light blue, which I think they discontinued that specific color, which I'm so sad about because I really love those shoes. They now also do them in the knit material, which I quickly showed you in the beginning of the video. And they also do them in their looks material, which is a faux leather that they do. So this is basically just a super basic, really nice, sleek looking sneaker. Personally, I really like the mesh version because it's so nice and breathable for summer. So if it's warmer where you live, the mesh is definitely an option you might want to consider. At the same time, it's also the most casual looking of the materials that they do. So if you do like a slightly more dressed option, maybe the looks is more your cup of tea. Talking about tea, I could use it. Yes. And then I would say the knit is just a kind of nice in-between option. It's slightly warmer than the mesh, so I've definitely worn like the higher top knits in the winter as well, which at least in the Netherlands is quite doable as long as it's not super rainy or if there's no snow. <laughs> so I do think this is a super versatile sneaker that you can either go for a super casual look if you go for a mesh or maybe a knit, or you can actually make it look pretty dressed up with the looks versions of them. I have had the looks of the original in a white, which I really enjoyed wearing. So uh, yeah, can definitely recommend that. I'm still kind of tempted to maybe get another pair of those because they are so easy to style <laughs> and so easy to wear. They basically just go with anything. The good thing about the looks material as well is that it is water resistant. So I wouldn't say it's waterproof. If you're in very heavy rain, you're gonna get wet for sure. But if it's just a light rain or if you may be walking through some damp grass, they are really nice to just keep your feet nice and dry. So other very good thing about those. Then let's talk about the high-rise knit. Again, not one that I have to here to show you right now. I am very sure that I actually have pictures of those because I'm pretty sure I included those in those <laughs> in the blog post. So I think these were actually the first field grounds I got. I was on the pre-order list for those when they first were brought out. So it's basically just a high top version of their original. The exact same sole, which is also the same sole as these come in. They are just a higher version. So these are pretty nice for slightly colder days. Like I said, I used to wear these actually through the winter as long as there wasn't snow or super heavy rain. So they're definitely not the warmest shoes. Also not the warmest shoes of the ones that I'm going to be sharing with you today. But the nice thing about the knit material especially is that it's still very breathable, which I think it's a nice thing in shoes, though in winter it's not always as practical, I guess. Good to know about the knit as well is that they are lightly water resistant, like they I think come sprayed with something which makes them slightly water resistant. You can also just spray them yourself to make them more water resistant, which is very nice. With a mesh, that's not going to work. <laughs> Again, the high rise, they do also do those in the looks version, 
which does make them look a little bit less casual and slightly more appropriate, I guess, for really cooler days and wetter days. <laughs> So definitely also a very good option. I do think, however, that the high-rise just in general is a slightly more casual sneaker compared to the original. Then let's take a look at the drop top, which I actually own two pairs of them right now. So let's just start with these again. These are one of the pairs that I was gifted. These, these are one of the newer pairs. I'm actually mainly wearing these indoors right now. It's like my slippers. So very nice. Also, let's just take like See? Very flexible sole. So nice. So I have the knit, which like I said, is a material that I very much enjoy from Field Grounds. It is so comfortable. I would say that the knit, depending on what you're going to be using it for, might be the most comfortable version that you can get. Because it's both breathable, but it's also wearable for slightly cooler days. So I could wear the knits easily in summer, spring, winter, fall, like basically in all seasons. That said, I have also very much worn the looks in all seasons. So yeah, take that with a brain salt as well. <laughs> Talking about looks, I also have them in the looks. Maybe I should have cleaned these before showing them to you. Um, but yeah. Here is the Lux version. This is in the color of Sienna. The other ones, the gray ones, are in the cloud gray color. I love these because they look somewhat dressy. Still also somewhat sporty because of the white sole. And they are just super wearable. I loved wearing these for work when I was still working in a store. They are also great for just casual wear. They basically go with anything in my wardrobe. So these are super, super versatile. What I also like about the Lux version is that they come with the micro suede lining, which is so soft and comfortable. Let's see if I can show you if I zoom in. So that's really nice when wearing them. I've also never had blisters with a few ground shoes, like any of their shoes. So that's a very good thing as well. <laughs> very much like that. And I love that with my wider feet. Like the toe box, it's great. It's it doesn't give me any problems, which is so nice. They are just comfortable right out of the box, and yeah, really a good shoe. Again, it's the exact same sole as the original, as well as the high rise. So love those as well. Also, would love to get them maybe in a different color too, but I don't need that many shoes. So it would be nice, right? <laughs> That's the drop top. This is going to be a long video, you guys. So this is the Chelsea boot in, again, the color Sienna, which is a very nice color. I think it's super neutral, but still really nice and warm. Again, it has the same micro suede lining, which is lovely. Their boots actually come with a cork insole, which is really comfortable. It makes them slightly warmer, also gives them a little bit more padding, which, especially in the winter, is actually kind of nice. Love the little loop to help pull them on. They're just super classic Chelsea boots. They are slightly more casual, I feel like, because of this, because of the shape of the sole, but definitely very wearable in slightly more dressy situations as well. The sole also is different on these. They have a slightly different pattern in the thread and it's also slightly more like thready. You can definitely see that I've worn these actually. <laughs> <laughs> I've had these for about a year now and like you can see they they still look really good so I love these like this is pretty much the shoe I am wearing in winter just almost exclusively and also a very very good deal in fall yeah really really love these so that's the Chelsea the Chelsea as far as I know they just do in the looks material which is this faux leather it's really nice, smooth, fairly soft actually material and I feel like it wears pretty nicely. I did have with these like a little bit of peeling with the first pair that I got. I just contacted customer service because it's not something I'm used to from them that quickly and they were super nice about it and just sent me a new pair. So again, also something good to know, field grounds such good customer service i have never had a problem with that i really like these <laughs> they also just brought out a different brown color which is also really nice i think it's called hazelnuts they just brought it out this fall and 
not gonna lie, I'm tempted, but I already have a brown pair, so I definitely don't need another brown pair of Chelsea boots. <laughs> but yeah, these are super nice. I love these. Again, they are water resistant. I haven't had too much of a problem with them in rain or in wet grass. Mostly the problem is going to be if it's really raining very seriously, like it's really pouring down, and then also the elastic. It, it, the elastic is not water resistant, so it's going to leave water through. Otherwise though, I haven't really had much of a problem with them, so that's also really nice, even though they are just water resistant and according to the website, not waterproof. Okay, let's go to the last pair that I'm able to show you here today. It's these. So these are again a pair that they actually sent to me. Let's put on the laces in slightly more so I can show them a little bit nicer to you. So these are the Petrol, this specifically is the Petrol Light, which is their, I wouldn't say it's unlined because it has the same lining as the other looks materials do, micro suede, which is so nice and soft. They also do the like normal Petrol, I guess it's called, which has a faux fur lining, which is really nice for winter. That one is also completely waterproof according to their website. These again are supposed to be just water resistance, but also again, I have not had any problems with them. Like wet grass or even some rain, like they have kept my feet nice and dry, which is great. I think what's the biggest difference is that the other ones actually have a different layer to the lining, which does make them entirely waterproof. This doesn't have that. So this actually has a very different texture to the faux leather being it's actually more textures, it's not completely smooth. I really like that for this model. Um, it's a bit more like grain to it, also a bit more of a color difference to it. I did get them in the brown. I don't know how much the color difference is for the other colors. Again, the nice little loop to help you pull them on. They are the same style of sole as the Chelsea boot has, so these are actually my <laughs> I mainly wear these to the park with dog walks, so <laughs> these are I tried to clean them, but they're, they're still not on them. Yeah, so same thread, which is really nice. If you're dealing with slightly more slippery or even, uneven ground, you're still able to feel the ground really well with these, even though the thread is a bit more substantial than with the like original sole, I guess you could say. What I also like about these is that they actually have the gum colored sole, just a little touch, which feels a bit softer than the black sole on the Chelsea boots. Though I guess like with the black elastic, the black sole makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, again, really love these, such a great shoe. So for any more like outdoorsy activities, these are really, really nice. These are what I go for. I guess I can also give you a quick look at like the insole of these that I was just talking about. Cork insole. So this is the insole that all of their boots come with. So you have the cork, which is layered on, I think, like a latexy material, rubbery material. These are actually really nice. They are very soft, again, very malleable, which is pretty essential for barefoot shoe. Also quite thin. It's actually interesting, like with all of the holes in the back. And of course has their logo on it as well. So I've also had some questions about how well feel grounds actually last. I would say the like first pairs that I've had by them haven't lasted me very long, as in they would last like a season or two, like maybe a year, but that meant like I wasn't completely wearing them all the way through the year before the sole actually wore out on me, which has been a problem with them before. However, they have continuously like kept improving their soles and with their newer soles I actually don't have much of a problem with it anymore. I actually found with the luxe versions it was the faux leather that started to kind of peel before the sole were out so sole wise no problem there at all and that was after like I want to say for a year of almost daily wear so I think for faux leather that's actually pretty good is there room for improvement? I guess there is. I don't know how this type of faux leather is going to be holding up. It feels a bit more sturdy and substantial, but yeah, only time can tell, I guess. With their fabric uppers, like the knit and the mesh, I have never actually worn through the upper, which 
is really nice which is also the reason that I like those as much like they kind of stay looking new the longest I guess also you can wash those which is amazing <laughs> so for their original and for their drop top for their high rise in the knits and in the mesh you can throw them in the washing machine i would put them on a gentle cycle also i would put them in like a washing bag or something but i have washed them before and it's it's great like if they are getting dirty it's pretty easy to just clean them with a little bit of water and a cloth but if there is a bit more staining on them you can just throw them in the wash and they come out like new which is pretty cool for a shoe so yeah also just quickly wanted to share that with you also the models that I've shared with you today are not all of the models that they do. Fieldgrounds actually also makes sandals, which I've never tried. And they also released a sports model, which again, I have never tried. If you're interested in Fieldgrounds, definitely just check out their website to see all of the different models that they have available, as well as the different colors, because for each model and for each style, as well as each material, they do have different colors available. So something to check out there as well and with that i think i've talked <laughs> long enough about these shoes i will have all of the shoes that i actually talked about today linked in the description box for you so you can check those out if you have any questions about them definitely let me know in the comments i will be glad to try and answer them as well as i can <laughs> Also, let me know if you've ever tried Field Grounds or if you have any other favorite brush fruit brands that you absolutely love and you feel like we need to know about. Definitely share that as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If so, give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more intentional living videos. I wish you a lovely rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!